I've been playing Pokemon games for a very long time, but when Gen 7 came around, I can't say I was exactly receptive of the changes. But it's easy to get caught up with the negatives, and while I overall am not a fan of Generation 7 Pokemon games, I can appreciate some of the changes that were implemented. So in the interest of balance, I'm going to go over what I like and dislike about Gen 7. I prefer to end things on a positive note, so let's get the moaning and groaning over with first. The main problem I have with Generation 7 Pokemon games is the layout of the Alola region. The perceived distance between the locations doesn't seem that great at all. In fact, everything takes place on small islands um, with paths that are all folded together in order to make the games appear more dense. But to me, that feels like you're just running around in a small maze going back and forth all the time. The map marker and the way they implemented it isn't exactly what I like either. It's like it keeps giving you little goals to achieve, which makes it feel like you're running around from one event marker to another. My guess is that it's been done this way to give the player a constant sense of achievement, but I think that makes you feel more locked into doing what the game is telling you to do, rather than doing whatever you want and getting sidetracked for the fun of it. Also, the camera often swings around, which I personally find a bit disorienting. Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon are at this strange point where they're still kind of like 2D games, where everything's on a grid, but there are moments when it feels like they're not. And that's when the camera starts swinging around, because certain things wouldn't be visible or accessible if the camera stayed fixed. And again, I think that's a failure in world design. And the last thing I don't really like with Gen 7 is that there aren't any other games to play in this generation except for Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon. It's not like every generation needs a remake, but it would have been nice to have a set of Gen 7 games that took place somewhere else. For example, Pokemon X and Y I really liked, but Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were not really my thing despite both games being Generation 6. I'm sure people who weren't fans of Black and White and Black and White 2 can kind of understand what I'm going on about. Now let's talk about the good stuff, things I like about Gen 7. The act of replacing HMs with the Pokeride feature is probably one of the best features that's ever been implemented. I think this change was as good as what they did with EXP share back in Gen 6. HM slaves waste two slots in your party, so not needing those anymore is great. That being said, I do understand why the HM system did exist though. I think the idea was for Pokemon to have a function outside of battle. Like you're working together with them by having them utilize their special abilities to light up a cave, fly, or go up a waterfall. But after playing so many Pokemon games for such a long time, HMs are really more of a hassle than anything else. I can also appreciate them trying to change up the traditional Pokemon formula. I personally didn't like the island trials, but I think they were a good idea that wasn't implemented correctly. So I hope that Gen 7 serves as a stepping stone in getting the idea more refined, I guess. The biggest problem for me was that the island trials didn't seem like grandiose challenges that you needed to overcome, but more like generic quests, I guess. The way I'm criticizing this makes it sound like I should have put this under the didn't like column, but I genuinely like the idea of changing up the formula. I guess we just have to wait till Gen 8 to see how that all evolves. Next up are the graphics, which I think are really nice. I think they managed to eke out quite a bit from the hardware. Unfortunately, there were times where performance suffered, but I think uh, the Pokemon as well as the environments look absolutely great. At first glance, the differences between Gen 6 and 7 don't seem that huge, but it does become quite noticeable when you go back to a Gen 6 game. The environment just isn't as detailed or deep, and the player and NPC character models look like little chibi versions of themselves, at least in the overworld. And also, the Gen 7 models are more true to the series art style. Speaking of better character models, I was a huge fan of character customization options introduced in X and Y, and I'm glad to see that that's being expanded upon. I don't know what it is, but I just really like this stuff. I think it's fun to just change things up on occasion, and I like how you can change your character so much that you can basically make your own characters, even more so than in X and Y. To be honest, one of the first things I do when opening up a game is just changing the outfit around. As someone who mainly plays Pokemon in order to collect Pokemon, I very much welcome the addition of Alola forms. I think it's a cool way to put a spin on already existing Pokemon. Some of the designs are pretty funny, which I think is a good thing. You gotta have some humor here. And all of those have shiny versions as well, of course, which automatically doubles the amount of Alola forms to collect. Hopefully we can have other forms from different regions in later games. I think that would be a lot of fun. So that's my opinion on Generation 7 Pokemon games. Originally I wanted to make a video only about what I disliked, but I figured it would be best to focus on things I enjoyed as well. 
Something I've observed not only in YouTube comments but also in real life is that people always align themselves to one of two particular points of view. Like, oh, this game's rubbish, or no, it's actually one of the best. I don't like this black and white mentality, because that's not really how real life works. And it doesn't even make sense to think that way, because all you do is close your mind from other viewpoints that may not align with your own. So for this video, I decided to add a bit of balance by presenting not really counter arguments, but changes I thought were great. Hopefully you enjoyed my view on the topic. Let me know what you liked and disliked about Gen 7. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.